15 aftershocks rattled California's Napa Valley today. One of them was the strongest since Sunday's magnitude six quake. Damage could top $1 billion. As John Blackstone reports, the region's famous wineries are mopping up and moving on. At Trefethen Vineyards, a winery building constructed in 1886 is leaning precariously. It's one of the few standing buildings of its time. Haley Trefethen's family has been growing grapes here for three generations. It's part of being a farmer is dealing with nature? <laughs> yes, Mother Nature every single year throws some curveballs at us. This was a particularly big one though this year. The earthquake made a mess of storerooms and cellars, but will not stop the harvest. The $13 billion wine industry here is quickly getting back in operation. While a half dozen wineries had major damage, most of the 500 or so in the valley had few problems. Nothing came down. Nothing earthquake. came down. No, we. Michael Honig of Honig Vineyards found his barrel room undisturbed by the quake. Honig's tasting room was operating today and busy with visitors. Cheers. 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 About 3 million tourists a year visit the valley, spending around $1.4 billion annually. Following the quake, the tourist industry is getting back on track. After being shut down for two days, the Napa Valley wine train is making its way among the vineyards again. Andrea Guzman is with the wine train. Don't hesitate to come to Napa Valley. We're open. Like the rest of California, the vineyards here are in the third year of a severe drought. The dry conditions have moved up the harvest a few weeks early. But Maurice, even with earthquake and drought, winemakers here are still hoping for a good vintage. John Blackstone in Wine Country tonight. Thank you.